Golem project has been activated. Rollout will be finalized within the week. And the prototypes? We have the United Metropoles on a tight leash. The defectives will be disposed of or recycled discreetly. I don't see why we must treat them this way. They are sentient beings. They're thinking, feeling individuals. They're not people. Anthropomorphism is counterproductive. What about the temporal dislocation? Continuum alterations would prove a liability. An unfortunate oversight, but we are looking into the renegade time traveler. We suspect a neo-feudal royal has gone rogue. And the father of artificial intelligence? If he defects to our corporate state competitors, he could give them the ultimate technology. We can always manufacture more money, the same way we manufacture consensus reality. You still don't understand. We are on the edge of a global meltdown. Post-human species is primed, we won't get another chance to ascend. Singularity happens but once. The kingdom of heaven open for an instant to the chosen. Or perhaps we are Prometheus, moths to the flame. Bugs will be burnt indeed. The defective prototypes recycled. There are no errors in paradise. You have reached your maximum nicotinoid consumption. You must wait 24 hours before. God damn social justice AI. What the hell is this traffic? Jesus, where are we supposed to have the goddamn flying cars by now? that I wasn't born with a silver spoon up my butt. <sighs> Stupid cyber arm glitching out again. Ah, well, I can't afford to fix it right now, and I'm already late. Did I bring my mileage receipts for reimbursement? Okay, good. I'll need that cash for rent. Fiscal better not cheap out on me again. I'm already surviving on krill paste and soy man noodles to make ends meet. Damn arm.
Son of a bitch! Ah, I must have dropped my consciousness card back in the lobby. I better find that card, or the boss is gonna roast my butt. around. Hey, sweetheart. You happen to see a shiny little card lying on the ground? Maybe. Stealing is a crime, little lady. Hand it over and I won't tell on you. Don't scare me, mister. The police only follow orders of important people like royalty and rich guys and famous actresses. And if you were important, you'd have had a manservant put a fresh new fancy shirt on you after spilling coffee on it. Oh, come on. Ah, I really need that card. Hmm. What's in it for me, huh? Job's on a stick, girl. You're like a pint-sized hustler. A good pony princess always uses leverage. That's how she gets to high places. Squid pro quo. I think it's uh, quid pro quo. Ugh, never mind. What do you want? How about a piece of gum? I spit mine out before I came in. Okay, deal. Wait, wait. You just spit your gum out, and now you want me to get you a new one? A good pony princess always has fresh gum. Let's talk about something else. Bye. Okay, princess, here's your gum. Now where's my consciousness card? Oh yay! Thanks, mister! Nuclear winter, my favorite flavor! Merry Christmas. Now, about my squid pro quo. Right, well, I did see you drop the card on the ground when your robot arm started going crazy. Then that android lady in the purple shirt with hair that looks like an angry purple porcupine? I saw her snatch your card. I think she also bribed that trench coat hobo guy to cut in line. Ah, thanks for the solid tip. What's your name, girl? Starla. Starla, huh? You drive a tough bargain, your highness. But at least you make good on your word. A good pony princess always pays her debts. Consider us square. I'll keep an eye out on lifestyles of the trillionaires and famous for your expose. Hey, what you want? You better give me my consciousness validation card back now before I report your spunky little punk ass to your parole officer. Piss off, copper. I ain't doing nothing wrong. I ain't no cop, sweetheart. I'm a sentient services social worker. I hand out food stamps and housing to needy machine peoples just like you. Just as I thought. Well, I'm a sentient machine, mate, and I have sentient rights, like the one to remain silent. I ain't telling you nothing. I ain't no cop. You know this, because you're the one who found my ID and failed to report it. 
identity theft on you, sister. You're looking at at least a year in Coastlandia Corrections. That's bullshit, Piggy. And stay away from my hardware. I know how this entrapment game works. Plants and illegal downloads in my neural drive they cuff me for piracy. <sighs> Look, I'm not gonna turn you in, okay? I'm just an underpaid, over wage slave whose job it is to help out sentient hybrids and sentient machines like yourself get back on their feet. But I can't do my job unless I get my consciousness validation card back. In fact, I'll probably get fired. So please, help me help you. Uh, look, you seem like a nice guy, or a G-man and all, but I really got no clue what you're on about. Sorry. Hey, uh, officer. Move along, sir. Officer, uh, I'd like to report a theft. I have reason to believe that woman in the purple shirt stole my consciousness validation card. <clears throat> Do you have probable cause? Any evidence to support your accusation? Check CCTV footage of the lobby, 8.47 a.m. The all-seeing eye of the state will have caught her red-handed. Downloading footage now. Right, I have visual confirmation of the theft. HQ, we've got a 484 requesting backup. Suspect is possibly armed and dangerous. Request authorization to use lethal force. Engaging now. Lethal force? She's a petty robo-thief, not a chrome path anti-human terrorist with a thermion bomb strapped to her chest. Isn't that a little overkill? You can never be too careful with these robot types. Do you want me to engage the suspect or not? Oh, sorry, sorry. Engage away. Freeze, you have the right to a trial by firing squad. Huh? What? Okay, okay, don't shoot. Something tells me Officer John Wayne here hasn't had proper use of force police training. Budget cuts being what they are and all. Get on the ground now. Any thoughts, memories, or neural data in your wetware is now property of Coastlandia City. You ready to talk, right, girl? Okay, okay. Just get this jackbooted psycho off me. Uh, you, you know what, officer? Uh, I think I made a mistake. I just found my card under my virtual gym membership. Sorry for the mix-up. Huh? Oh, okay then. Carry on. You know, the Coastlandia courts will automatically convict any non-human robot we throw in front of them. The CFC is a rough place, especially the Sentient Machine Subdivision. Chrome gangs in there will take you apart, circuit from gear, break your pretty little fingers off and grind them into shanks. Just give me my car back and you can forget this ever happened. Just because I've made of silicone and aluminium, I must be doing something wrong. That's machine stereotyping, that is. That's reality, that is. Machines are second class citizens. Now give me that card. Last chance. Wait, wait, let's just say someone did take your card. I'm listening. Maybe she wasn't just a hardened criminal. Maybe she was just a girl in a tight spot with a kid to think of, you know? I'd say she should have thought harder about the consequences for her kid before she started jacking IDs. You're right, you're right. But let's say she'd been trying for a year for a job and no one wants to hire a robot. Last time she came to sentient services for her welfare and energy scan, they did a brain scan and they denied her benefits because her neurons didn't pass the sentience test. That, th that can't happen. If you're, if, if she's a thinking, feeling person inside and out and not just a 
toaster. Well, the guts of Takeda consciousness test will show that. Are you so sure that the test is 100% right all the time? The system is stacked against us non-humans, you know that. We can't get good work, get laughed at on the street, most of us live in a giant garbage heap. Why couldn't the test be right against us? Who would stop the human-controlled government? Uh, I don't know. Even if you're right, I could get in serious trouble. You're talking about impersonating another consciousness here. Mind fraud. Please, I'm... The girl's probably just doing this for her baby girl bot, so her daughter can have some energy to eat, a roof over her head. She's trying, but sometimes she has to fudge things because she's got no other choice in this system. She's got a special mod chip to fool the brain scan machine. She'll owe you, big time. <sighs> I know I'm gonna regret this somehow. Probably wind up in jail with you. What the hell? This job is its own kind of prison, I guess. Gonna need that car back after, though. Really? Thank you. Thank you, mister. Carl. Carl's just fine. I'm just about Thank you, Carl. You're doing the right thing here, you know that? If we only had more of your kind in the system, well, I think we'd all be better off. Yeah, well, uh, I'm gonna go work on my jujitsu and my right hook now. In case we end up in the slammer. Good luck, Jezebel. I better stick around till I get my consciousness validation card back. Sign and date here and here. What is this? That's me address. This is the location of a condemned housing project which is reverted to a landfill, not a real residence. I'm on the Section 9 public housing waiting list at the moment, um... <sighs> well, you'll need a legal residence within the next 30 days or your sentient machine benefits may be revoked. So you're saying I can't get assistance unless I already have assistance? That's a catch-22. Utter horseshit. I have a kid. Please lower your voice, miss. And that is not my problem. I can't believe... In order to be eligible for support, you will be required to pass a Gertzel Takeda consciousness test. A score of 4.1 is required to confirm human-level sentience. Please note that individuals scoring below a 4.1 may be classified as subhuman and may have their citizenship revoked and all property confiscated by the city-state of Coastlandia. The consciousness requirement is waived for human applicants. This is so messed up. Please insert your cranium, neural net, or other synaptic substrate into the quantum encephalograph. I can't believe I have to prove I'm a real person. This is so demeaning. Let's get this over with. Please work. scored a consciousness quotient of 3.9. You qualify as a pet or livestock, however, not sentient enough to be considered a person. This is an outrage. What am I supposed to do? I've got a little one. What will happen to him? I'm sorry, ma'am. Regulations are regulations. You need a consciousness quotient of 4.1 and above to qualify as a fully conscious and sentient entity. This isn't fair. These humans don't have to take a stupid test. What have they got that I don't? Humans are sentient persons by default, ma'am. They have personhood by heredity. What makes you so goddamn special just because you got the right double helix of DNA? This is that, what's it called? Anthrocentrism. Anthrocentrist bullshit. Security, please escort this non-sentient humanoid imposter to the exit immediately. Just as I thought, a thief and a terrorist. Oh god, this isn't happening. This is not happening. Carbon, what have you got yourself into? What the hell?
hell do you think you're doing? Get away from there. behind you. What? There's no one there, you idiot. Time put your lights out. What? Your safety's on, idiot. I thought I was a recycle bot there. I won't forget this, mate. I've got skin in this game, too. If they caught you with my card, I'd be axed from my SS gig. However shitty and humiliating it may be, I need the money. I am gonna need that card back, of course. Right. You'd better get going. I'll make a self-defense claim. The Coastlandia government will want to avoid being dragged through the mud in the hypermedia. Another untrained, unstable cop opens fire in government office is a bad meme during election cycle. Yeah, I'm used to laying low. Don't worry about me. Yeah. Take care of that kid. I'll figure something out. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? Anyway, thanks. Not a whole lot of people give a shit about sentient machines nowadays. Not a whole lot of people give a shit about anything. I'll be seeing you, Carl. See ya, Jezebel. What a goddamn mess. <clears throat> Good morning, Department of Sentient Services. Carl Carbon speaking. Carbon? You're the CPS Nazi bastard that took my baby, ain't you? Well, you can go to hell. Unfit mother my ass. Oh, uh, ma'am, please calm down. I know where you live, asshole. My baby daddy's gonna cap your ass with his gold-plated Uzi. Ma'am, there's really no reason to. Only one death threat this morning? <laughs> wow, it's shaping up to be a light day. <laughs> 